many different places in India. I got to really see India and experience India from from dancing and traveling and seeing like you know the, you know so many different things, meeting different kinds of people, their different backgrounds and. One thing I noticed with Indians, they're like very, very passionate about dance. It's like it's part of their culture, you know. Um, yeah, that's it. It's just uh, it's a spiritual thing, a soul thing, you know, really. Um, I, I mean, I started with hip-hop and as a hip-hop dancer, but um, house is just something, I mean, I can listen to it from morning to night. It's just something that connects with me. I can't really explain it. Um, I love house music. I love hip-hop, but I'm a house head, really, you know. Yeah, that's it. Like even even when I first heard house around '92, and I was like, you know, I got into breaking like around '93 or so. Um, I mean, I would just break the house. I would house the house, obviously. You know, I would do popping or locking the house. Like I just, you could just everything works the house, you know. So it's just house music, and I just do different forms of dance to it. So I've always considered myself not really like a house dancer or a hip hop dancer. I'm just like. Uh, I'm, I'm a dancer, I'm a club kid, whatever you want to call it, and I mean, I just like to dance, I really, I just, it doesn't matter, like I studied, you know, contemporary dance, and I appreciate all forms of dance, and uh, I'm a dancer, that's it, I just like to dance.
stopping us right now because now you know everyone has got their way you know how how one wants to dance that's the biggest question in a dancer's life every every dancer is becoming smart every dancer is becoming intelligent you know every dancer is becoming confident about themselves and yeah the scene is becoming really nice you know and feels really good to be a part of the scene